Alright you bastards, this is some Belgian prepper and today we're going to talk about that something that not not many preppers actually think about and now that I think of it I personally have never seen any prepper talk about this or I missed it but before we start about the video just a little uh, announcement if you're interested in uh, detective stories I have uh, made the first of an 11 part uh, detective series that I wrote and if you are interested take a look at the link below if you want to buy it it's only in Dutch it's uh, called <coughs> bloody crosses and just to say if you're interested I would advise to take a look in this description so <coughs> now the video we're going to talk about time yeah time that's kind of odd to think about in a survival situation because yeah why would you need time I mean everything is going to hack well, time could be very important in a survival situation and for many other things. First of all, if you're on a bug out and yeah, you want to set up camp before the sun goes down, there's there are sort certain ways to know how what time it is, how much time you got uh, left. Look in my video about navigation. There is a simple thing where you can uh, use the uh, count with the fingers below uh, on the horizon and below the sun and the amount of fingers each finger is 50 minutes of sun after a certain period in the afternoon. So that's just a simple way to time it. But sometimes you want to calculate a little bit further. So imagine if you're somewhere uh, on a bug out or an evacuation and you are... Perhaps you want to know if it's noon. Because if it's noon and you calculated that it will take perhaps six hours to, to get to your point, then you cannot use the... Uh, method with uh, with your hands so perhaps a clock would be handy but yeah the thing about clocks is most clocks today these days are uh, yeah with batteries so yeah that could form a problem if you do not have electricity electricity to charge it or if there is something wrong with the, the clock with the clock system uh, imagine that there there is a hacking where where it's uh, messes with uh, all the all the types of uh, clocks from the that are used on the internet or some other systems uh, it could be like a cyber attack could be possible or just something simple like an e emp during a nuclear uh, attack or disaster that could also be a problem or during a shitty defense situation when most uh how do you say this machines uh apparatus are broken or uh, failing and yeah when the grid is down it's kind of difficult to tell the time so yeah, I would advise to get some some sort of mechanical clock in just in case as a backup. So uh, first of all, I would advise to just get something just something simple. Uh, if it's not during an EMP or something, just cell phone uh, cell phones computers. They have an intern clock, and that works on a tiny batteries. So those goes along uh, goes a long time, and they are fairly accurate and even uh, taking account with the dates and uh, the moving of the hours so if you have something simple like uh, a, li a small solar panel and you can uh, you can uh, use a, a cell phone a smartphone or a or a laptop or a computer that has an internal clock then you can uh, then you can use these to charge them up simple but what if there is something like i said before happening like we had emp or cyber attack and it messes with all the clocks in the world uh yeah that could uh, form a little problem so then you have to improvise and not only for to know what time it is, but also sometimes you need to know, you need to calculate time. Like if you're in a bug out or a, even a bug in and you, and some, there is, during a shitty defense situation or some other natural disaster, somebody has to be on watch all the time because criminals, desperate people, they will uh, perhaps find, they will perhaps attack during the day, during the night. So it could be any moment. So yeah, there should be always be somebody on watch during such disasters and shitty defense situations and even during a bug out. So, yeah, then it's a kind of a problem because if you're in the night and the normal human person can keep his concentration or alertness for maximum three hours. That's why in the military, the people on guard or on watch are not allowed to be on guard or watch for more than three hours because they're concentration their alertness goes down the enemy can take advantage of that so yeah you want to keep the fresh show yeah 
if you do not have a clock, how do you going to know that it's your turn to to go on watch or make it even fair? Because if somebody is on watch for four hours and the next person, without even thinking about it, says after only two hours, ah, change of the watch, that's kind of unfair and can and cause some internal problems within the group spirit. Uh, yeah, it's all about fairness. So there are several ways you can uh, do this. Just the most easy ways are just mechanical clocks. Uh, I would advise to always have a mechanical clock and not only for this type of situation that I just said, but it could be something just as simple like a blackout, thunderstorm or the or the power grid goes down from uh, working works from on the street or some other uh, some repairs that they do to the electricity grid. So yeah, then you're without a clock, but you still have to go to work the next day and your all your electrical clocks are down. So just a simple manual uh, clock like this could be a hand could be handy and even with uh, it has even an alarm system that you can set up and it's me purely mechanical that you have to winch. So yeah, if you're if you're without electricity for a certain am amount of time because of blackout, because the, the electricity could be unstable during certain disasters or civil unrest. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of annoying if your clock go if your normal clock is going down because the electricity goes up, out, up, out. So mechanical clocks uh, like this could be with an alarm with an alarm system could uh, ring you awake even during such uh, small situations. Could be everyday situations and just something else. So something small like this, like wrist watch watches. But I use these. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bit old-fashioned, but it's one of those uh, mechanical uh, pocket watches. But it could also be a wristwatch. Yeah, those things are just uh, simple. Uh, watch out, because there are a lot of uh, these kind of clocks and wristwatches that still use some sort of batteries. Uh, so this is one of those that you can that you can winch up, and that way you can during a bug out or even during just. Like I said, the earliest, earlier situations still know the time on an accurate way if, as long as you keep uh, maintaining, it, maintaining it. You have to winch it up every day a little bit, make it a habit of it, and you will uh, usually get the time about right. And you will not lose your job because even during the apocalypse, because you're, you're turning up late or you're sleeping out all whole night. So yeah, that could be interesting. The another thing about these things is... Uh, these could be barter, could be good bartering items. If you do not want, if you do not need to know the time, even though it's a good bartering item in a, something like that. Uh, another thing you can do is, if uh, you can improvise a sundial, if you can take uh, something like a compass or some compasses have this built in with them. It's like a sundial. You want to know what time it is during a bug out. You just put this uh, on the ground. In the direction where it where it should be, and that way, this could be. Oh, if you can see it, this thing, something like this, or you can improvise it, or you can buy one with a real sundial. You can see where the shadow falls, and that way you can kind of calculate if you're in the right direction, aiming it in the right direction, uh, what time it is. It's like a Roman sundial, so you can improvise one, or you can buy this one that are built in into these kind of compasses. So this is just a little tip and could be fairly accurate during a bug out situation and could be multifunctional if it's in a compass. So yeah, that's kind of an interesting alternative. Those are interesting alternatives. But what if you have none of these items? You can try to improvise some other things. Another simple thing you can do is just, if you perhaps can see, um, try to put markings onto a, a, a candle. Make sure that the candles are always in the same the same uh, length, that the uh, markings are on the same height. Test them out, calculate, and put stripes with numbers on it. And that way, if you need to, you can say after, th after three hours, it's at this mark, and then you can do change of the, of the watch. Yeah, it's kind of a waste of a candle, in my opinion. But if you need to improvise something for that, that could be very handy. Or you can, yeah, make some elaborate alarm system. It could be something very sp simple like this, like with the scandal. It's something that I saw in some historical documents. 
it's something like uh, if you can see like the candle here's a rope that is connected with something that can fall onto the ground so the candle goes down and at a certain height it will snap the cord and something falls down and you wake up from the noise so that's an improvised alarm system that you can make with just some something simple like this uh, long candle so yeah that's something possible or if you want to do some change of the guard uh, in a fair way you can calculate something like this you just need two uh, uh, glass jars what you do in the first one is you poke a hole into the jar you calculate how how much time you have to calculate it in the first time to know how long it will take you take an empty jar you take the upper jar and you calculate it needs about this fill to be this full and then it should be uh, passed away this amount of hours so you put it on something like this and then you can perhaps if you perhaps can see um, it will start to drip at a certain rate if you do not touch it like like I do but that way you have an improvised water clock in a way it's like one of those uh, time sand how do you say this so those things with sand that you can turn and that the uh, sand fall through at a certain time so that's also a good thing that you can do to calculate time and you have to turn it just but you can also improvise it with water like this so if I so yeah these are just some just a few practical ways another thing you can perhaps do is if you are have leftovers of these uh, nightsticks you can just calculate ah it usually gives lies about this amount of time and yeah it's kind of a waste but like i said in an improvised way it could be handy the same thing goes for not only these big candles but something like tea tea light candles if they st st these usually burn around six to eight hours so yeah if you see that the light goes out uh, from a tea light candle you know oh six hours have passed so that's so those are just improvised ways to know the time if you are with schedule uh, schedules or or like all everything i said before so yeah i would say i would advise for all preppers to think about this because yeah it's not as exciting as weapons and self-defense or how to grow your own food but time is kind of interesting and i would advise to not only try to do these things but also to get knowledge of it because how did people uh, used to do it in the time if they look at the sun they would know ah it's all it's in that direction the sun is now over there it's almost noon and that way you can estimate some time so it's kind of a skill an intuition that you can use to know oh now i'm going to to work or i'm going to stop working or i have this much time to to do this or this much time till we keep a halt to take a break from during the bug out so those things could be actually kind of important also use i would also advise to use calendars if especially in a long term the disaster or bug in situation because you want to know when winter's coming when this season starts or this season starts if you're going to try to live off grid and try to grow certain crops for your survival long-term survival plan so yeah the analog and the mechanical ways or just the logical thinking could help you with these keep keep track of time and i'm not saying about like atomic clocks that will go to the nanosecond but just a little bit of awareness of time could help you a lot in the survival situation so I hope you found this interesting. Subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Share this video with other preppers and see what they think about it. And uh, yeah, like, leave a comment if you have other ideas to know what time it is on improvised ways or in a way that they did like in historical records because I always find it interesting how people would know time in the past and not only people like, uh, like inventors like Leonardo da Vinci but also regular people the just uh, common folks how how would they do it um just one more little tip another thing is churches could have an automatic system that you know from far away oh we hear the bell this many times it could uh it's that these hours those could still work even during a, a disaster situation uh the same thing goes for other religious uh 
times because yeah like a mosque in islam at a certain times at periods a day they the imam of the mosque will start to do a prayer from the minaret which is the tower of the mosque and if you're in such an area you can you can guess what about what time it is so those are all just small things if you are aware of them you can get a little bit more track of time so like i said before subscribe i really appreciate it thank you for watching if you're in interested in the uh, detective series it will be in the description below uh thank you for watching and see you in the next video cheers